Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm going to get started. <laughs> I so appreciate that it's Sunday and that the rhythm of the day can be a little bit different than the needing to stick exactly to the clock right now. So uh, we gave it a, a few more moments to, um, to greet you and welcome you. Um, and I'm glad you're all here. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this year's Embracing the Journey Resource Fair. I'm Rabbi Batshir Torshio. I'm a senior educator here at the JCC. Can everybody hear me okay? Thumbs up? Okay, good. So in thinking about this welcome, there are two thoughts that I'd like to share with you this morning. On the theme of journeying, the image of a labyrinth sprung to my mind. Have any of you ever walked a labyrinth? <laughs> We're labyrinth walkers. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, you might know that there is a labyrinth right up the road from here, actually two. One at California Pacific Medical Center off Buchanan Street, right outside the medical center doors, and one at Grace Cathedral, also right up the road on California Street. So if and when the spirit moves you and you find you've got an extra half hour or so, I encourage you to go and participate in the experience of walking a labyrinth. And also, every fall here at the JCC, we have a labyrinth right outside this door in that space called the atrium. There's an enormous labyrinth on the floor that people are welcome to just come in um, and explore. Um, you can check our website for, those, for that program and other programs or ask any one of us here today about it. So I've included a photograph of a labyrinth here. So for those of you, for whether or not you've entered one or not, the truth is, one truth is, that we're all walking a labyrinth through this journey called life. From the moment we enter this world, our unique paths take unexpected, sometimes wonderfully thrilling, sometimes terrifying twists and turns, and at times it feels like we are utter utterly alone in this world when we don't wish to be. And at other times, we might feel a transcendent awe and gratitude for the deep connection that we make along the way. A feature of the experience of living is that we come into this world alone, born into a family we've yet to meet, or, or know only in a, one capacity, and into a community, and we take leave of this world and family and community and friends on our own. Just as we do when we walk a labyrinth, right? We enter it alone and we exit it alone. But if you notice, as this picture illustrates, we're never really completely alone. Even if we journey to the top of Kilimanjaro or Mount Everest, how many of you have done that? Not as many as walked a labyrinth. <laughs> we know that human beings and all life forms swirl around us even when they are beyond our sight, alone, together, unique, and connected. Today, throughout the day, for however long you're here, I'm going to move this here, this way. There we go. You will hear spiritual wisdoms embodied in various traditions that will help you navigate and think about the journey that we all travel, each and every one of us. This blessed life, as we know it, does come to an end. Judaism, the faith tradition that happens to be the map of my journey in this lifetime, Jewish wisdom provides a helpful metaphor on this topic in the form of a narrative that I'd like to share with you. The prominent leader and prophet Moses guides the Israelites out of Egypt and slavery toward a place that has been spoken about and dreamed of, but really it's unknown. And along the way toward the unknown, we find ourselves at the foot of a mountain, some call it Sinai, that Moses scales in order to receive a covenant in the form of a kind of manual for right living. 
Some call this the Ten Commandments, some mitzvot, which is a Hebrew word that also means commandments. Some call this prophecy. God instructs Moses to tell the people to make themselves ready to hear and receive these commandments. A rabbinic interpretation of this text teaches that every human being, whoever was and will be, whoever was and will be, stood at the foot of that awesome mountain together. Imagine that. Imagine that every soul that ever was and every soul that is ever yet to be born all stood together beneath that mountain that we read was on fire. There were a blast of horns and thunder and lightning and God's voice from within the clouds that surrounded the mountaintop. And then the story reveals an intriguing detail. It says that I heard and learned what I needed to hear and know at the foot of the mountain, which was different than what you heard and understood, what you learned, what you heard and understood at the foot of the mountain. One voice spoke, but each person heard words in a way that was personally meaningful to her and to him. The text can be interpreted, it might be interpreted to mean, that we are beings meant to fulfill lives that are uniquely our own alongside others whose path is uniquely their own. It feels to me a lot like entering a labyrinth on our own together. There's one before me and there's one behind me. And I see you, as I see you here this morning, around every turn along the way. Not only that, but I reach my hand out to you for reassurance and for celebration, and you take my hand in return. So today, I'm glad that I'm not here alone, and that we're all in this together, and that you made the decision to take our hands and engage in conversations that may not seem so easy to share. It's my hope that you know and feel that you are not alone in this. It is courageous and affirming to explore this part of your journey with all of us here at the JCC of San Francisco. And we are so grateful to be walking along with you in community, travelers on this path together. May you find and hear today and learn today what you are wanting and needing in order for you to fully embrace this journey. So I wish you a wonderful day, a beautiful day together. And I'm here um, throughout the day. There's actually a booth right outside that door. Um, I think it's called Ask the Rabbi or Ask a Question. It's a beautiful canopied space. Um, I'm in there from, I believe, 12 to 1. There are other people in there someone from 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and then I'm there from 12 to 1. So please feel free to come and engage in conversation, um, ask any question, or just introduce yourself. So I wish you um, a lovely, meaningful day. Thank you for being here. <laughs>